hey guys today i'm going to show you how to draft your own sports bra pattern from scratch you can do this as one piece or you can separate them depending on how much fabric you have if you're a b cup then you probably stopped here if you are a d cup like me you did the adding of the fullness here So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your body measurements. I already did a video on how to take your own body measurements and I'll link it in the description box below. So specifically you'll need your full bust measurement, your under bust measurement, under bust to apex, under bust to areola, under bust to shoulder, under bust over the shoulder to the back waistband the distance between the boobs and your overbust. Like I said, I have a video about this. Your paper needs to be just over um, half your bust measurement. For example, my bust, full bust measures 30 and a half inches. Half of that is 15-ish inches. So my paper needs to be at least 16 inches wide. And then the height of the paper needs to be half the under bust to over back measurement which is for me 23 inches divided by 2 is what 12 and a half inches <laughs> so my paper should be at least 12 and a half inches plus more so yeah I will need to tape some more paper up here so first you need to draw a straight line at the bottom here. Make it about half an inch from here because you need to add your seam allowances and I don't know what your seam allowance preference is. You're also going to need the Artecrafts Classic Daywear Wire Regular R1 underwear chart. I will link it in the description box below. If the difference between your full bust measurement and your under bust measurement is more than two inches, then it means you're over a B cup. In my case, it's about four inches. That's 30 minus 26 to give me four inches. So that means I'm going to need to add some sort of cups or curving seams in the sports bra pattern. I will show you how to find the underwire size for you in a separate video. I personally fit into the 38 underwire. So if I didn't have an underwire lying around in the house, I would just trace this underwire shape. Now, because I've highlighted my underwire, it's the one in green, when I hold the paper up to the light, I'll be able to see the outline of the wire on the other side of the paper. So I just flip. So I'm just going to draw it nicely like that. Uh, my marker pen is out of ink, that's why you can't see any lines appearing. I've managed to trace it to trace it out. So um, to save time, instead of me tracing this curve onto my paper, I'm just going to cut and tip. So I've drawn a line one centimeter and one centimeter away, so that's two centimeters. That way I have seam allowance and maybe other allowances in the future. Then, remember our measurements. So here's where they come in hand because I'm going to look at the distance between the boobs. In my case, it's two centimeters. So... Because I'm drafting one half of the sports bra, I'm going to take half my measurement. 
So 2 centimeters divided by 2 is only 1 centimeter. So I'm going to draw 1 centimeter away from my underwire like that. Mm. The line is perpendicular. So this is going to be my center front. Now, um, let me draw a line, just touching the underwire line. So, I'm going to take that measurement. Uh, now we're going to go for our under bust to apex measurement. Mine was three and a half inches. So I'm going to take my ruler, find my three and a half inches. From here to here is kind of flat, so I can decide to put it anywhere along this line. So this is 3.5 inches to my apex. And then the other measurement was my underbust to the areola, so just above the nipple is the areola. That's four inches here. Then I like to go one inch above that to cover the areola. Four plus one is five. writing apex apex so I can draw a line perpendicular to this point like this that will give me my underarm height Now here's the thing, underwires are supposed to have wire spring and wire play. So, for underwires, wire play is 5 millimeters. Wire spring is how far out the underwire springs. Let me put the underwire here. So when you're wearing it and it's stretched out, it's going to open up. A little that's usually like maybe one cm one and a half cm so I'm just going to go let's say one and a half cm okay so I'm going to curve this line here's where my French curve comes into play because this is a curve I'm going to make sure it's still a curve rotate it so that it touches that point then draw a dotted line that ends up touching the original wire line then this point needs to be smoothed out so I'm going to blend like that Uh, I'm going to tip my paper here. Our next measurement is going to be from our underarm height towards the rest of the back. So I'm going to go out one and a half inches so that I can create a frame. Like I said, you could make it a perpendicular line, you could make it go like that, whatever you want. So we need to extend this line. Uh, 
and at our center front. So here at the center front, I just went up five millimeters for wire play. That is in case you end up using an underwire in your sports bra, you need to add five millimeters wire play. I'm going to use that point as a guide so that I know how low my sports bra can go in the back. Now I'm going to go in and find my under bust measurement which is 26 inches. Let me take that out. So what you're going to do is, what is 26 inches, you're going to divide by 2 because this is half a sports bra. That gives me 13 inches. 13 inches, I'm going to subtract 1 inch from that because you use stretch fabric. So from the center front, to this point we're going to reduce this by one inch to 12 inches so this is my center back I'm going to draw a line that's perpendicular we're going to determine our strap positioning I usually like my strap to be two inches from the center back line so I mark this as my center of the strap point okay and this is my center back now we're going to do our strap according to my little chart here my under bust to shoulder is 12 inches in the front so that's from this point, 12 inches is here, but we are using stretch fabric so I'm going to subtract 1 inch to make it 11 inches. Tick. Then I have my under bust to over the back all the way to my waistband which is 23 inches so I'm going to divide this by 2 11.5 inches so I come over here this is the center of my strap this is my waistline 11.5 inches is here so we are using stretch fabric, so I'm going to subtract one inch. Then I'm going to dot, dot, dot. So I know that's the center point. Okay, how wide do you want your straps to be? Uh, you could go with one inch, one and a half inches, two inches, whatever is comfortable for you, even three. You, you know, whatever you want is what you're going to do. So I want my straps to be one and a half inches wide so this is from here to here is one and a half inches so i'm going to position that measurement in between here half of 1.5 is 0 0.75 so my strap root is here to here then up here double check that this is actually one and a half inches so you're going to grab your small curved ruler because you're going to carve out the back make sure a bit of this is a bit straight before you start doing the carving so dot 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 that's my back and then on this side I suggest you go out one inch mark there about one inch um, forgot to draw the strap so in the front the strap doesn't have to start like where this seam is I can go out so 
so said my strap should be one and a half inches half of that is three quarters of an inch so if I put my strap from here to here Here you can do some personal preference checking. On my favorite sports bra, the height is about 4 inches over here. So if you want to lower the neckline, you can lower the neckline. So now you have your back. You have your front. And you have your side. So at this point, you could trace out your separate pattern. Is your cup size A or B? You are ready to sew your test sports bra now. Congratulations! If your cup size is C cup, D cup and upwards, then you're going to watch the next video, which is how to make cups for your sports bra. I made it in a separate video so that this won't be too long. And I will link it in the description box below. It will also be in the playlist that I add this video to. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do try and make this for yourself. It's so easy and it won't take you forever. <laughs> and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or drop me an email. I will see you in the next one. Bye.